Hello YouTube, Mason Ground here, bringing you a Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, this is part 36, and today we'll be battling Lance, is it Lance? I think it's Lance, anyway, here's a Dragon type uh, leader, uh, Elite 4 member, and the best thing to use for a Dragon type is the move, moves, it's like an ice type move, so I've got, I took Ice Beam to my Wurty or Agron, because yeah, and I taught Blizzard to my Breeze. But like, as you can see, Groudon's got a bit better attack. Oh no, he hasn't. Ah, I never knew that. All right, maybe you do learn something new every day. Okay, so anyway, onward and forward to the last Elite Four member. Let's go. I am the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four, Drake, the Dragon Master. So it's Drake, not Lance. I got it mixed up. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are fear, face or fierce. I can't remember what it said. At times they hinder us. At times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as trainers, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't. Then you'll never prevail over me. Okay, Elite Four Drake starts off with a level 52 Shell Gun. We'll be opening out with Warty. And he starts off with a Protect. Which I probably should have did it really and used a different move just so I don't waste Ice Beam's uh, power points. But I think I've got items where I can always restore that anyway. Okay, so we do over half. So I think any move will take this thing out now. Our speed's fallen. I think I might still be quicker though. Oh, he's going for the full restore. Because he has yellow health, oh, you didn't really predict that, but go with a headbutt. And maybe an ice beam will take it out now. And he's gone for a protect. Which can be very highly annoying, so I've waited two power points now on ice beam. Now, dragon type Pokemon are very strong and hard to take out, because... I mean, ice moves, it's not too many really good ones, are As ice beam... And Blizzard. Blizzard's got five power points and quite low accuracy. Alright, he's going with Kingdra. So, this is a chance where we can save the power points and just switch out to Scott, who's my level 51 beast against this level 53 beast, I suppose you could say. We'll save Thunder, Thunder and we'll go Thunderbolt. It's not super effective because it's part dragon type, but we've got Paralys on it. Dragon Dance. You cannot let him get too many of these up. Attack Rose. Speed Rose. Now that can be quite bad. It'll go with a bite. I know it won't do much, but now a Thunderbolt should take it out, so. I didn't want Mike to use a Thunderbolt, then he fully restored this thing. Alright, so Kingdra's now a gunner. He's a gunner. Flygon. And we'll go with Coordinate for the minute, because Agron's got a bit of a better defense, so. He's more of a rock. I like Flygon a lot, actually. Don't be super effective. Don't kill me. Alright, Blizzard. Should do some quite a bit of damage here. Did I click record? If I haven't clicked record, I'm gonna actually shoot myself in the foot. Let's check a minute. Yeah, I click record. So I'm very happy. And Breeze got some XP there. We're, we're gonna keep him out here, actually. Altalia. Will this take me out? Ah. Crap. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go with Scott. I'm, I'm gonna try to save our Grom's Ice Beam for um not for this battle, but for a different battle. So we'll go out with Scott a minute. Now, oh, static. Nice. Alright, so we'll go bite now. Same tactic as earlier. Full flinch. Ace. Now, this is why Scott's just such a beast. He tried, I don't know, which walking over the Elite Four with Scott. I think if we didn't have him, this could be different. But anyway. Now, here's his beast. Salamance. Level 55. Beast! I'm gonna start with a thunder wave because anything to stop this guy from attacking me. Dragon Claw. I think I could be a goner. Yeah. Salamance's got ace attack. Just a beast. A pure beast. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out with uh, Zeus. This is just a. Uh, Little tactical thing here. I was meant to do this for the whole of the Elite Four, but I haven't. But I can't do that now. I'm gonna steal one a minute. Get my defense higher. Oh, I think Skarmory could take this thing out. I know it's a seven level difference, but Silence is paralyzed. I just raise my defense as well. Ah, crap. Alright, he knows flame from. Maybe I can't take this thing out. But I will survive that, and I knew I would. So we'll choose another fly, and he'll probably go flame for again, yep. And hopefully he's, like, affected by Paralys. No, Dragon Claw. I don't think I'll take... Oh, maybe it will. It's quite a good move, Dragon Claw. Anyway. Alright, can Wati take us out with an ice beam now? That's the question. Oh. How much health? I'm use a headbutt quickly. Actually, we'll use another headbutt. That shouldn't do too much. Oh no, I'm part steel. Oh, thank you. And this should be Salamance gone and Worthy level 50. Yes, it is! The last Elite Four member is down. Worthy is level 50. Plus 4 attack, plus 4 defense. Look at that. Look at that defense stat. Metal sound. What's that? Ah, no, we'll be alright. Yes. And we beat the Elite Four Drake. Superb, it should be said. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a... Heart. I don't have to answer. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go, go onwards. The champion is waiting. Okay, so I'm going to take this time to quickly heal up all my Pokemon. Use that on Salamance and we best heal up Scott on him. And, um, yeah, so... Next video will be taking on the last elite, well it's not really an elite former and rest of the champion, but we'll be taking him on, seeing what he's got, and um, yeah, hopefully being able to beat him. Um, at the moment I haven't struggled once with this elite four, so whether I will struggle on this champion, I do not know. Anyway, this is your boy, Amazing Growler, and I am out of here.